small exhibition that was about a thousand square feet. It was basically watercolor paint and butcher paper, but still the best at its time. In the 80s and 90s, we had uh, another version of this hall that was about 8,000 square feet, which was the state of the art in exhibition technology at the time as well. But now, next month, uh, November 20th, we're opening Weiss Energy Hall 3.0, which is about a 40,000 square foot exhibition that we've been working on for more than two years. Um, it's very dramatic, it's very dynamic, it's very compelling, it's very fun, and very engaging. In fact, I would go so far to say it's the most comprehensive, exciting, engaging, and fun energy exhibition anywhere on Earth. And I'd like to introduce Paul Bernhard, who's the Senior Director for Content Creation, Design, and Production. Paul Bernhard. Thank you, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Hi, uh, I am Paul Bernhard, and this behind me is Energy City. This is over 2,000 square feet of, as you can see, a white model of uh, one, 150 to scale, loosely based on the Texas Gulf Coast and the city of Houston and the many ways of energy production that are available now and into the future to find the perfect energy blend for the city. That's why we call it Energy City. Um, there's hundreds of buildings, there's energy sources from coal mines to wind farms to solar to hydrocarbons, everything you want in energy. And uh, the neat thing about this model is it doesn't just do this. This model is powered by 32 laser projectors that bring the model to life in full color. So rather than build trains and cars that are mechanical things, we're doing it all through animation. This projection mapping system covers every square inch of the model with color would like. So uh, I think the next thing we should probably do is let Energy City do its thing.
showing other sources of energy as we get ready to open in November. So that's just one of a couple of big attractions that we're previewing today. There's a couple more. Uh, one is called the Geovator, which is a returning classic. I guess I should have some light. It's pretty dark. Um, we did the Geovator in the version of the energy hall that we did in 1994. The old Geovator was running for about 24 years, 23 years. But it was kind of popular, so we said, let's bring back the Geovator. Let's bring back this simulation of going down into the earth beneath Houston, learning about the geology and learning how that geology was particularly favorable for the formation of hydrocarbon energy. And uh, the new Geovator does some things that the old one didn't do. Not only can it shrink, it can also time travel. So we'll have a look at that a little bit later. And then there's an all new exhibit, never been done before, called the Eagleford Shale Experience. Which, uh, for those of you who are geologists, you'll know about the Eagleford Shale as a prominent rock formation in Central Texas that's become well known in the last 10 years or so because it's a huge new source of oil from shale, oil and gas, oil and natural gas from shale. So we said, well, why not create a contraption that can fly us out to the Eagleford Shale, which is maybe 180 miles away, out to Carnes County and then shrink to microscopic size and then go down into the Eagleford Shale and experience a hydraulic fracturing job from inside the, the uh, oil and gas well. And I know a lot of people have heard about hydraulic fracturing, but I'm pretty sure not very many so far have experienced it from inside the well. So we'll be having a look at that. So stay tuned, let's go see some exhibits. Let's do it. Team. And I'm here with Dustin, our project manager, and we're going to go inside the EFX and take a look around. Let's go. So, step aboard, take a seat anywhere you'd like. Um, we are in the hangar bay right now, and we haven't uh, taken that many journeys yet, but we're about to take one. Step right up. Grab a seat if you'd like. There may be a little turbulence on the way. I don't want to spoil anything that might happen, but there might be some things that happen. And is everybody is everybody on board that wants to go? 
Anybody else? All aboard that's going aboard. All right. Let's. Oh, good. You made it. I made it. Anybody else? Well, 
at a rate and pressure high enough to start some shallow fractures. Sending micro seismic data links now. Step. There's a mind the gap. Again, we're gonna go and take a sneak peek now into the Ge to the all new Geovator. You might remember the Geovator from Weiss before. Well, we, it's got a little new a new face, and but Captain or Captain is still gonna be your captain. I'm gonna bring Dustin over here to tell you a little bit more of the new Geovator. Hi, I'm Dustin, project manager on this. Uh, so our Geovator is a redo of the old one. We loved it so much, we decided to make it uh, bigger and better. We hope you guys can come down and take a look at it. 
Yeah, come on and let's take a little peek in it. That was your sneak peek of the new Weiss Energy Hall 3.0. Stay tuned as we show you a little bit more um, throughout on social throughout the coming weeks. And definitely come and check it out when it opens November 20th. Until then, see y'all later.